GoPro. That's a GoPro? Yeah, a little one. I need a picture. <laughs> not loser. Woo! <laughs> Woo! So here we are. Bush Gardens, how I'll scream. Really excited. Uh, and looking at by the car park, we could be in for a, a really quiet event tonight. The car park is dead. Uh, really excited. There's scare actors everywhere. Uh, I need to get a map actually. I didn't pick one up. But there's uh, seven mazes apparently, or seven houses. Oh, I need to get. A, I need to get a map. Oh, they're over here. Need to get a map. 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 Oh, can't wait for this. Here we are. Here's your map. There's one up here, I'll show you up here, it's a lot easier than all folding it. Right, uh, we've been to Bush Gardens plenty of times before. Cheetah Hunt used to be our favourite top coaster until Taron came along. Uh, Montu is my favourite B&M invert, um, other, other than Nemesis. But you've got uh, Unearthed, uh, Motel, Shelburne, uh, that's the new one, Undead Arena Live. <laughs> Reading the map. I'm oh, sorry. Hey. Reading the map. <laughs> you get one to walk around with. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, black spot. Uh, demented dimensions. That was my twin. <laughs> uh, Death Water Bayou. Which do you recommend? Which is the best I one? I that one. That's a good one, is yes. it? Yes. Another good one. Even though it's back again, that one's yeah, a good one. Yeah, I've been told that's a really good one. That's a good one. This is a very good one too, it's a new one. I can wow. tell you, best way to go? Go that way. That way, which way? You gotta go that way. Clockwise. Yeah, so you're, you yeah. are here now. Yeah. And you head towards that big wooden one. And yeah. you'll see that new guy. Just take a left. You'll see, well, I don't know why they call it a deadly experience, and I think that's <laughs> a bar. But there's also the Undead Arena line. Oh, wicked. Yeah, got have a good time. And all the rides are open as well? Yes. All but Gwazi. All but Gwazi. It's been closed for too long. I know. <laughs> Need to hire him see it. Yes. Yes. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Party it up! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> awesome. Better event than um, Universal Studios already. I can't wait to see these lasers at night. That's got... Oh, you can see it on the building there. Really, really cool. Really excited. Really pumped for this. Uh, the event is on till one in the morning as well. So yeah, all the rides are open, obviously, apart from Guazi. I can get POVs here as well, so I might stick my chest mount on. Um, yeah, here we are, Bush Gardens. Hey. Hey. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> wow, first maze done, Death Water Bayou. Very good. Um, like a um, voodoo style southern swamp sort of style. Really good theming in there. Some really good jump scares. I actually didn't get any jump scares much myself. Lisa did. Um, but yeah, first maze done. Um, queued up quite a while for it. It didn't open until half seven, so it was quite early. But really, really looking forward to this whole event, really. I love this park. Well, we both do. Some of my top coasters here. Obviously, Cheetah Hunt was a top coaster. I don't know where it sits now. Montu's favourite B&M. Invert. Um, Kumba was one of the first ever big steel coasters I ever went on uh, back in 95. And what else is there? Shikra is a good drop uh, dive coaster by B&M. Not really into dive coasters, but it's a good one. I might try and do Falcon's Fury tonight because last time I, we came here I bottled out. <laughs> Well, yeah, some really good theming around the park everywhere, really. I'd say this is more like a, a Thought Park. Whoa, look at the werewolf. More like a Thought Park sort of style. Whoa, that's cool. Oh. This way. If it's a scare zone or what, but there's big werewolves walking around. There's that thing there. 20 minutes for Cheetah Hunt. Five minutes Shikra, five minutes Kumba, five minutes Cobra's Curse. 
really want to get on the uh, uh, cheat hunt. Whoa. Awesome. <laughs> oh wow, look at Cheetah Hunt there. Awesome coaster. Three launches on it uh, into Min. Oh wow. Right, I'll see you when we get there. Right, unfortunately, Montu's, uh, not Montu, sorry. Um, Cheetah Hunt is uh, un hashtag unavailable at the moment, so we're coming on Cobra's Curse. First time ever for us, and we're doing it in the dark. Amazing. So, yeah, looking forward to this. Uh, Max spinning coaster. Bit of a prototype one, I think. Wow, theming. Snake in there. Got a few nighttime rides today. Here we go, Cobra's Curse time, first time ever in the dark. Mac spinning coaster. Backwards now. Oh, wow. oh, oh, it's intense. Oh. <laughs> Lift hill. There's Montu just there to the right. The wow. Who is about to start spinning? Oh. Yes, here we go. Not much spinning. <laughs> wow, Cobra's Coast was awesome. I don't think there was much spinning on that one though, but yeah, good coaster, good coaster by Mac. Right, do I do uh, something to drink or? Yeah, yeah, drinking a snack. And then we might hit another scare maze or scare house as they're called here. But yeah, if you are. Uh, Want to do POVs here, they are allowed to just make sure you use your chest harness, which I did then. Don't use it that often, as you know. So, yeah, Montu's through there. Uh, Cobra's Curse, that was awesome. Yeah! One of my all time favourite uh, coasters, Montu, one of the world's best BM inverted coasters I love this coaster I'd say it was better than Nemesis I think it's probably the best one I've been on I do prefer Nemesis as a UK coaster but yeah Montu is awesome so yeah here we go here 
Here we go. On the second row. Dude, actually, I could have got on the front. There's nobody actually sat there. Well, I don't mind. You won't be able to see a lot anyway. <laughs> uh, we will be coming back uh, during the day, probably sometime next week. So I'll get some daytime POVs. I love this coaster. Two years since I've been on this beast. Definitely still a top 10 coaster for me. Uh, been on two, 226 coasters now. That was including uh, Cobra's Curse. Let's see how this rides. There's out of the six or seven inversions on this one. There we go. On two time. Here we go. like a dream that, that's amazing right next up maze wise or I keep calling them mazes I should keep calling them houses really but yeah the next house is zombie containment unit 15 I think it's a uh, like a shooting laser type one I, th I don't know if you wear a chest pad or anything but I think they give you a gun a laser gun but yeah Mon 2 in the dark, unreal, unbelievable. Like I said, we will be coming back to Bush Gardens uh, probably sometime next week during the day. Um, but yeah, superb in the dark was that. So I've done two coasters and we're just about to do our second uh, house already in the space of an hour. Um, Mon 2, I always didn't say, but that was walk on as well. That was straight on. Hey, you right? <laughs> so yeah, Zombie Containment Unit 15 next. I'll let you know what it's like. We're ready! Yeah, you ready? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, run away! Um, you should have gone in the front. Yeah, I should have done. Right, um, that one, the zombie shooty typey effort thing. I think we had to wait a while. I think the uh, staff were changing over uh, to the left. Um, yeah, I wasn't too keen on that one actually. Um, you walk around with a gun, and the, the zombies wear a target. I think Lisa got most of them. I wasn't really, I don't even think mine was working. Um, not really that scary, not really any jump scares. Theming was all right in it though. No, not a bad maze though. I, I, I've, been, I've been in better than that. Yeah, the concept's amazing. I think, uh, I think quite a few English. Um, scare mazes could do with something like that one on that scale that was it was quite good actually the theming inside wasn't too bad not a massive line for it either we did have to wait a while because i think like i said just then the uh, staff were changing over so yeah next up cheetah hunt in the dark pulling your harness down to your waist and buckling your safety belt for favor entra al carro de paseo rápidamente y lo más seguro lo que posible there we go. There we go. First launch. Three launches on this. That was the first one into the second one now. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Crazy mouth section. 
Down again. See nothing. Wow! An inversion. Woo! Oh wow! <laughs> Into another launch. Oh no, it's the uh, Rhino Rally section. <laughs> Can't see. It's too dark. Woo! Oh wow! <laughs> it's another launch. <laughs> Time. Oh wow, what a coaster! Woo Woo! Down into the station! Woo! Oh that's it! Oh wow, how's that? Awesome! Huh? Yeah, I still love it. Even better in the dark, you can't see where you're going. Oh superb! Yeah, it's still smooth. You can hear the rattling a bit with the train. Because obviously it's made of plastic. Oh yeah, there's uh, th two trains in front of us there. That's amazing. What a ride. Yeah, cheetah hunt. Superb. I've actually, we've just been in, in, on the dark as well now. That's uh, blowing out loud. Uh, hang, hang on a second, I'll get past that. I think the rest of it's down here. Oh no, it's all blocked off. Are we going the wrong way? Yeah. Do we have to go back that way? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> back this way. Right, yeah, Cheetah Hunt. Superb. It, I think I think it's still a top five coaster for me. And in the dark, it's absolutely incredible. But you can't see where you're going. It's insane. I thought there was a bit coming off, but it ended up being the Rhino Rally section. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, just the, the dispatching's a bit rubbish on it, though. It took ages. It did say 25 minutes, but it, that that was that was definitely a half an hour. And it's on 35 minutes now. But yeah, amazing coaster. Are you okay? Definitely, uh, definitely my favourite coaster here at this park. I mean, I know there's some B&M's, Mon2, and all that as well. Um, but yeah, I I, I love Cheetah Hunt. It's just in a class of its own. And I know we've been on plenty of multi-launch coasters now. I mean, Taran is still a top coaster for me. Look, there's the launch. Second launch down here. Did you get it? Yeah, I did. Why are you leaving? This is obviously another scare zone, playground. I think they're actually quite basic compared to like the likes of Universal Studios. Um, they're quite basic, but at least there's a lot of them. I like all the uh, swings and stuff all over there. Really cool, really creepy. Yeah, that was a playground. The playground. So there was a scare zone into a scare zone. Look, there's another one down here. Some clowns walking around now. I don't think this is another scare zone, it, but it's just got actors over there. They're all my actors everywhere.
first Falcon Fury. Ten minutes. <laughs> you want to hear a good story? Yeah, two years ago I came here, I bottled out on it. I just looked at it, I thought, nah, I can't do that. I think I might give it a go this time. I don't know, sure Lisa wants to do this one. But yeah, we both love Cheeto and it's such a good coaster. So uh, people dressed up and everything, it's amazing. Yeah, scare mazes. I'll do this when we come again. Ah, you alright? Do you bite? <laughs> Cute teddy bear. Yeah, we're doing the scare mazes. Well, I'll do that during the day. Then, at the end of the day, there's no point doing it at the night time because you can't see the view. Amazing. Oh. Only 10 minutes though. Uh, you've also got a few flat rides around here. Kitty ride there. You've got uh, Scorpion just over here, which is the uh, Schwarzkopf Looper, which is one of the original rides here, one of the very first coasters I ever went on. Uh, you used to have Python as well, which uh, was a double corkscrew coaster that, that sadly went. That's probably the only coaster that's actually gone from the park. The Phoenix, which is a vertical swinging pirate ship. Uh, I wouldn't go on that anyway. And then you've got Sand Serpent down here, which is the Mac Wild Mouse. There's no queue for that. That's probably on about a five minute wait. And then you've got this other maze, which is down here. Something di dimension, I think I said. All right, next up, uh, Demented Dimensions, I think it's called. Yeah, the uh, Scorpion Schwarzkopf coaster is not running tonight. It's one of the uh, coasters not running. So this section of the park is Pantopia. Uh, great atmosphere here. No idea what this one's about. Bit of a queue though. Wow, that was awesome. Uh, Demented Dimensions. I'd probably say that was possibly the best maze we've done so far. Every single room you walked into was different. There was one that was like mirrors with a laser. It was great, it was just like so disorientating. A room upside down, really good theming. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not really getting many jump scares though. I'm not really, oh Lisa, is, she's always in front of me. Oh, but yeah, we've both said so far, we've only done three mazes, houses. <laughs> and um, yeah, so far we've both said that we're having a better time than we did at Universal last night purely because they're, uh, they're, not, they're not IPs, they're not like based on a movie, they're not scripted. The ones at Universal, they're so quick that to get people through, you don't get time to appreciate uh, the actual scenes or anything like that, and you, you just get pushed through. But yeah, that was great, it was that. Really, really good. Many dimensions. And we've just been talking to uh, quite a few Americans in the uh, queue line, and I was, I was, I was asking, if there was any like small independent uh, attractions and they said that there's actually one just up the road in Tampa somewhere so yeah we might have to check that out actually because we actually do prefer the small independent places they're a lot cheaper you said it's only $25 well um, yeah and it's got a haunted hayride like Tully's has as well but so far I know, I mean, it's in a big theme park like this, but yeah, so far I still rate like the Tully's type of attractions uh, more than this. But this is great because you've got the coasters here as well. Yeah, really enjoying this tonight. So the next one's near Coomba, I think. Or Coomba. Coomba, feel the roar of the Coomba. But yeah, we came two years ago and I, 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 didn't, have me, I didn't have my channel then by then. It was not long after I'd, we'd come back and I actually started vlogging. But I could have done one. And I've said before, my uh, when we first came in 95, my dad had a camcorder and filmed the whole entire thing. I don't know if these are scare mages. Uh, black spot is that way. I don't know where we're going. Uh, look at the map for a second. You get lost around here. Right, I've just been into Pantopia. Oh, it didn't really show, it didn't, it didn't show you. Congo Rapids, I don't really know. 
I was there. Is this a scare maze? Or a zone? Wasteland? I think I'll have to get the map out a second. Just bear with me. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's scared. <laughs> right, this one is Wasteland. Oh, <laughs> we got people hiding there. Oh, <laughs> Do that again, it was nice. That's cool. Yeah, Wasteland. Big scare zone. Scare zones are really good. <laughs> she keeps on the floor down there hiding. Oh, superb. Oh. Awesome. Right, so next maze we've got here, black spot, I don't think you can make that out, the light's shining on it. So yeah, black spot is the next one. Yeah, I so wish I could film in these mazes because they're really good actually, really, really good. That last one was superb by the way. And you got Friend of Fiends, which is one of the shows that they do. We won't be bothering with that, we just want to try and get the mazes done and then see what we're like with time. Probably another re-ride on, on Cheetah Hunt if we can. Well, it seems to be uh, fairly moving pretty quick, but it is a Thursday night. Oh, there's a lot of people in here. <laughs> uh, we've just done Black Spot. Uh, we waited ages for that, and I've got to say, Definitely not worth the wait. That was probably the weakest maze we've done so far tonight. Um, Agreed. Yeah, they agree. <laughs> the theming's incredible, but there was just no scares in there at all. Just walking around, looking at everything. But yeah, a few people have come off there saying it's not very good at all. Oh well, probably go on uh, Shikra now. Uh, and then we've got a few more mazes to do, and then we've got to call it a night. But yeah, that wasn't very good at all. There's a bit of a shame really because it's been a couple of really weak mazes tonight uh, I actually thought they would have been a bit better than that There was just no scare at all I think Lisa jumped a couple of times but I had nothing It was more like a, it was like a pirate sort of theme Like you was walking, uh, like the plague, yeah, pirate plague But the theme, it was incredible I don't know if that was a queue line for a ride or, or what I'm not, I'm not too sure I, I'm sure it was a queue line for a ride because it's got a bit of a cattle pen in there somewhere. So yeah, next maze or next scare attraction or next ride. <laughs> there we go, Shikra time. Flawless B and M dive coaster. Oh my God, look at that lift up. to dive coast it is pretty terrifying this one I thought this is my only ever second time again I came with my family like oh, 13 years ago and I bottled out on it look at the view. yeah look at the view <laughs> oh my god get ready to close your eyes oh my god oh wow windy up here sorry if there's any wind noise oh my god <laughs> 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 
to the water splash Absolutely awesome. Second time I've ever done that. Lisa loved it by the way. I think she really enjoyed that. We've come off and uh, got some alcohol. Well, Lisa's got a little cocktail thing. Is it nice? Yeah. But hello, yeah. Really good event. Really needed that beer though. Look at the size of the can. It's huge. We've got ID'd as well. If you look, um, younger than 21 <laughs> you get ID'd even though we're both 38 <laughs> she couldn't believe the woman's like oh my god you look like you're 24 no. <laughs> well to Lisa anyway oh, some of the food around here smells really good as well but uh, we've got three more mazes to do I don't think we'll get, we'll get them in two is it wow that, yeah but uh, yeah, Shikra, really good B&M dive coaster. Um, personally, I, I prefer Baron. Um, I like the fact that you, as soon as you go down the drop, you're upside down and you've got the barrel roll as well, or the uh, zero G roll, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, but uh, uh, on that one. It is, yeah. Uh, uh, if you're scared of height and that, this is one, well, one that you'd be really scared of. Look at the amount of water though that that thing kicks up. Uh, I do prefer the, the theme on Baron as well. I know a lot of people rave about Shikra and it's their top coaster at this park. But personally, I still prefer Cheetah Hunt. I think it's more more my style coaster. I like launches. I like coasters that have got a bit of uh, a bit of difference to it. It's busy around here. So yeah, I don't know what's next. We're just following the path really. It's just basically a big circle. So you can't you can't really get lost. Yeah, Shaker's an awesome coaster. That's probably the last ride of the night for us, unless it's a walk on queue on Cheetah Hunt. But yeah, really good event. The atmosphere is buzzing. A lot of drunk people walking around as well. Right, another scare zone is uh, Carney Camp. Carney Camp. Carney. Good. You can read. Yeah, Car Carney Camp. Come on now, Kevin yeah, Miller. Yeah, good. Wow. What goal? Did the Cardinals can't get it right? Send those sports Someone will, uh, someone will be doing something, and then you get your jump scare from the side, which is really good. Yeah, I, I think that was it. Oh, there's another bit to it over here. Well, there's someone in there. Uh, this is the kids' area. There's a junior coaster in there, a little Sierra that I've never done before. So hopefully, when we come during the day, I'll get that coaster credit in. But yeah, having an awesome night tonight. Wow, look at that. Hi. Whoa! <laughs> See, that's what they do. If you're looking at one thing, someone comes up behind you. Oh, chainsaw smoke. <laughs> right, Undead Arena Live. 
Uh, we've got three more. Well, two more after this. Oh god. Them girls were uh, in front of us on cheetah hunt, being dragged out of the uh, thing. Right, here we go. And there's poor old Guazi. Yeah, if you uh, remember what I just said a minute ago, it's getting ripped down. It's just, it's just there. Wish I could see it during the day. Wow, what a shame. It really was a rough coaster. I actually remember going on it not that long after it opened and it was brutal and it's just there it's just there i could walk over and touch it hopefully not a big line for the yeah so everyone's gone now the uh i can't can't actually say for sure so far which has got to be the best maze uh but yeah i'll have to uh, put the camera down for now yeah, unfortunately, I'll tell you what, guys. Um, I'm just not getting any scares from this this event at all, really. <laughs> You'd think, wouldn't you? You know, I'm not, it's not like I'm moaning or anything. I just, I'm just not really getting any scares. Uh, some of the um, some of the, the theming's really, really good, though. I must admit, and the scare zones are incredible, and the atmosphere here. I mean, it's Bush Gardens for, for God's sake. You know what I mean? It's one of the best theme parks in the world. But, I'm telling you now, I'd love to see what them European parks have to offer, like Fantasialand, Europa Park, uh, Fantasialand, I always get it wrong. Uh, but yeah, tonight, it's just, I don't know. I mean, it's actually hard to pick a really good maze. That one was just, no, back this way, through the uh, scare zone. What did you think to that one? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's just not very good. I still think that one at uh, Universal, the fall, and that's probably the best one we've done since we've been here. No, it's pretty scary. All right, give this one a go. Oh wow. This is the Hello. Let's see if we can get away with a POV. one so far whoa whoa some really good smell pods in here oh this is the dry ice I thought that was 
as an actor. Oh, whoa! Graveyard bit. Oh, the outside bit with the pool. Yeah, it's probably the best one of the night. Whoa, look at the fog. And that's it. Yeah, that was a really good strong maze, was that? Really good uh, theming in there. And some good scares too. Right, last maze, unearthed. We've, we've we survived. And we've actually done really, really well tonight. The crowds have been really low. We've not really queued really for many of the mazes. And um, we've had a better night tonight than we have at Universal. Here we go, on Earth. Actually in Quasi Station as well. Wow. I actually thought there was a clown maze here, so they must they must have got rid of that one. Just need to turn this bloody blinking light off. I could probably film them up a bit more. But then nobody said anything so far. The quasi station. Oh, here we are. We're in it already. And as you notice as well, that last maze was pretty much walk on. We did with past few mazes. We haven't actually queued for anything. And again, I keep saying mazes. I mean houses. And this will be the last time I'll ever walk up the Kwasi's queue line. Yeah, we haven't seen much yet, but here we go, start the maze. That's pretty good. It's pretty amazing how we've just gone through both stage, well, both stations of Kwasi as well. Quite emotional, really. Here we go, we're into the house. I actually said it that time. There we go. Oh, 
What the hell is that thing? He's back in here. Spiders on the wall. Oh. Oh, that's creepy, that. Oh, the dead chickens. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, the theme in it is insane. That's it. That's it, we've done. We've done them all. Um, yeah, that one was really good. Uh, managed to get the two POVs from the night. They're probably the two best ones we've done, actually. That motel and that one we've just done now. What a shame. Actually, don't ever say you were still. All right, I didn't even know there was uh, cameras in there. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. That was it, that's the only one with the camera in it. I didn't even know there was cameras. Well, that's it, that's it, we're done. We've done them all. All right, exit's down here. Uh, personally, I think that uh, motel one's probably the best one we've done. But one thing I've noticed, the um, I don't know what the hell they're using these smoke machines, but they all, they've all got a very distinctive smell. Yeah, like barbecue and stuff. Yeah, on Earth, that was uh, that was really good. That. Although I've managed to walk through them with the with the uh, with the camera, no one's managed to say anything. So done really well tonight. We've managed a few nighttime rides. We've done all the mazes. We've done the scare zones. Really good event. Uh, if you are coming to Florida, I recommend um, booking this event. Definitely better than Universal by a long way. Eh? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. So that was that, that was awesome, was that? Right, that's it. Uh, I've literally just had a quick go on Cheetah Hunt, five minute wait. Uh, amazing. It really, truly is a top ten coaster for me. Is it better than Taran? Nah, nowhere near. Uh, but yeah, still a good coaster. We've had a great night tonight. This is the exit. I just wanted to get a shot of these lasers here. Just wish there was more smoke or a bit lower. Wow, wow, they're pretty cool, them lasers. Yeah, that's it. Really good event tonight. Really amazing event. Uh, is it a really, is it a top scare event? Yeah, I'd say so. Definitely better than uh, Universal. Not been as busy. We've we've done all seven scare houses. We've done the scare zones. We've been on the rides. We've done. We've, we have a wicked night. Cheers. Um, we've done. We've done a lot tonight. It's been. A, it's been a long night. Uh, thank God we haven't. Didn't really do much this morning, but we did do the uh, Merlin attractions this afternoon, which is good as well. Yeah, fantastic night. Definitely. Uh, if you're coming to uh, to Florida uh, and you and you're coming in uh, October, September, October time, definitely book this uh, this event. 
really really good well worth it <laughs> is it a top Halloween event pretty much up there yeah I still really prefer the Tullys uh, back home a bit more of an atmosphere you know you, you haven't got the rides and things but scare attractions are not really about the rides yeah really enjoyed it I think we've both had a really good night tonight and it's like where have you walked there's, there's actors Roman actors everywhere the atmosphere is just incredible so we've got about uh, an hour or so to get back it's now quarter to one in the morning so the, the event's only on for another 15 minutes anyway we, uh, could have, we probably could have got on uh, we, probably, we probably could have done uh, probably could have got on Coomber as well and Sand Serpent yeah amazing night thank you uh, That's it. Yeah, he's really good. So yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching this vlog. Hope you hope you enjoy this one. Next one, I have no idea what we're doing. We are knackered. If you've ever been to Florida for two weeks, you know what it's like. There's so much walking around. It's 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 really tiring. I'm really hot still. I'm really sweaty. I'm really tired. That's the end of the night. I'll see you later for now.